Electricity, my first electricity video, and it's about current. What is current? Current is the rate of flow of charge. Um, charge is positive or negative stuff that things can have. Yeah, there's two types of charge, positive or negative. Now, the current in a circuit is the flow of positive charge. We imagine positive charge flowing round this circuit from positive to negative, and the current flows all the way round. The charge goes all the way round the circuit. And here's our very first equation, I equals Q over T. Charge has the symbol Q and is measured in coulombs. And as I said, we imagine positive charge flowing from the positive terminal round the circuit and then back to the negative terminal. And the amount of charge which flows every second is the current. Current is the rate of flow of charge. Current has the symbol capital I and it is measured in amps, which has the symbol capital A. If you want to measure the current in a circuit, then you put an ammeter in series in the circuit so that the current flows through the ammeter. The current we measure must flow through the ammeter. Uh, in a circuit like this, the current will be the same everywhere because charged. In other words, charge does not get used up. The amount of charge leaving the cell every second is the same as the amount of charge arriving every second. Charge is conserved. What's actually happening inside the wire? Well, first of all, let's look at the structure. We have metal ions, uh, which is a regular arrangement of these, for example, copper ions, which are vibrating. And in between them, there are lots and lots of free electrons or delocalized electrons. And they're bouncing around randomly, very, very fast, bouncy, bouncy, in between the vibrating metal ions. If we put a potential difference across the wire, in other words, if we make one end of it positive and the other end negative, then what will happen is that the electrons will drift through the wire towards the positive terminal. So we actually have negative charge moving from negative to positive. However, current is the flow of positive charge, so the current is actually opposite to the direction that the electrons flow in. Don't worry too much about it. People get very flustered about this. As far as you're concerned, just remember current flows from positive to negative. If we put a potential difference, a voltage across the wire, we say that the electrons drift. They don't zip across very, very quickly because there's lots of metal ions in the way. They, they bang into the metal ions. And current is the rate of flow of charge from positive to negative. Now, a single electron has a very, very small amount of charge. It's minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And that means that a current of one amp is about 6 million, million, million electrons per second moving through the wire. A lot of electrons. Each electron has a tiny amount of negative charge. Let's look at this question. A current of 100 milliamps flows through a small bulb how much charge flows through the bulb every minute? How many electrons flow through the bulb in this time? Well, for the amount of charge, we would do Q equals IT. So 100 times 10 to the minus 3 times 60 is 6 coulombs. How many electrons is that? If we divide 6 by the charge on an electron, we get a very big number, that very big number. Now, uh, parallel branches I said that in a, a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere. In a parallel branch, a circuit with parallel branches, the current will split. So looking at this diagram, the current at A is 100 milliamps. Uh, the current at B is 30 milliamps. So what are the currents at C, D and E? And Kirchhoff's law tells us that the current entering any point must equal the sum of the currents leaving that point uh, from conservation of charge. So the current at B is going to be 100 minus 30, and the current at C will be the same as the current at B.